There we go. Now it's starting. Now we get to see what happens. So I can need to check on a couple things here. Check and stuff. Oh, somebody's here. Hey, Carl Jagoon. Welcome to the stream. Guess I just had to restart it or something. Anyways, it seems my internet is finally back, so... So am I. Hey, Energy Rosier. on my Switch games. All of them. Going to be adding one more in about two or so days. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm Taberpa. <laughs> uh, I noticed my internet seemed to be working today, so I thought I'd take the chance to uh, connect with people. Hey, Hypothetical Salamander. How's wind? Wa How's wind water? <laughs> Waker. Uh, it's doing pretty well. Doing some writing on it, but mostly I've been uh, preoccupied with other stuff, like Fire Emblem. Uh, <laughs> hey, Cody Nelson. Yeah, I haven't had a, a solid internet connection for a while, so I haven't been able to do any streams. It was kind of uh, bumming me out, and I wasn't even able to get myself to work on my script for a while. And I started playing Fire Emblem Three Houses, and oh my gosh. This is the best Fire Emblem game ever. <laughs> like, I, I heard all the hype about it, but it's very rare that I get something and the hype is actually legit. Like, usually it's like... Oh, it's so good, oh, it's so good, oh, it's so good. And then I go play it or see it or whatever it is they're talking about. And I'm like, it's okay, I guess. It's not that good. But Fire Emblem Three Houses is just... Oh my gosh. It, it takes everything I love about Fire Emblem, makes it better, and gets rid of most of the stuff I didn't like about Fire Emblem. It was great. Did I just hear Fire Emblem? You did. You did F.E. girl, Katsuya. Is that what the F.E. stands for in your name? It's really good. It is. It is. Uh, by the way, no spoilers for the game, because I'm still playing it, and I'm still in the middle of the story. Uh, my dad just died, so that was fun. We're dealing with that now. Anyway. As you can see, I put over an hour into this. Or 53 hours. Probably 53 hours, considering I spent a whole day doing nothing but playing this game. <laughs> like, I woke up one morning, it was my day off, I turned this game on and just played this. The whole day. The whole day. Oh, it's so good. I love it. You're correct. F.E. is Fire Emblem. Good. I'm glad I guessed it. I so smart! It took me this long to figure it out. So, about Arcadia. I will be doing Skies of Arcadia again. I'm just, you know, focused on this right now. I wanted to play a game that I... What that I didn't have to stream or record myself because I was really feeling bummed out for a while and I didn't want to be like you know trying to force myself to record something while I was bummed out because I never have fun that way 
So I played this game for a while and I have been loving it. Sorry for your loss. Oh, not my real dad. The the dad in this game, not not my in real life dad. <laughs> if that's what you're uh if that's what you're coming commenting on. My real life dad, he's perfectly fine. Last I checked. A little dim-witted, but perfectly fine. <laughs> Oh good, he chose best house. Well, I made that video where I talked about what houses I was choosing. So yeah, I got Claude. And I'm gonna go through, uh... Go through everybody here. So, uh... <clears throat> Thank goodness. <laughs> it's me with Genshin Impact. Yeah. Did I ever watch Inuyasha? I did, a long time ago. Um... I got real bored with it after... A long time, actually. <laughs> I watched it for several years. I thought it was pretty good, but it eventually just kind of started dragging on and on and on. Until I kind of got sick of it. Now I can't even go back to it. I still have fond memories of it, but I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna finish watching it because I never saw the full series. I just saw like I don't remember what they were called. The people with the white robes with the big weapons or whatever. Uh, I saw all of them die and that was about it. If you know what I'm talking about I'm, they worked for a uh, for a fuck what was the bad guy's name? Uh uh Shit. Um. Naraku? Was it Naraku? I don't remember. It's been a long time. I remember Shoshomaru. <laughs> but then again, who could ever forget that boy? <laughs> Anyways, let's catch up with some of these comments here. Uh. Playing game all day. That's me with Genshin. I've already read that. I thought. I thought, thought you were. Talking about in real life with the dad thing and caught me off guard. Yeah, no, no, he's fine. I'm talking about in game. In game, I just recently lost my dad in game. Sorry, I, I should have specified that. That is my, that is on me. Spoilers. I'm playing the game. How would you not expect anything except spoilers? I chose Blue Lions as my first house. Ah, uh, you chose Crazy Boy. Yeah, I mean, when I first saw the three of them, I wasn't sure which one I would choose at first. I looked into them slightly, and I kind of liked the uh, the class for Golden Deer a little bit better than uh, the Blue Lions or the Red Eagles. But uh, I plan to play Blue Lions and Red Eagles in later playthroughs. Have you seen Lilo and Stitch? I have. I saw that when it came out. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yes, hello, Zelda Queen. Filler, the anime. I mean... Kinda. <laughs> Naruto? Are you asking if I've seen Naruto, or... Like, you need to be a little more uh, specific than just having the, a name and a question mark. The anime did drag on, but now the sequel is airing in Japan. I heard they were making a sequel. I couldn't believe that. Sashomaru is my anime crush. I don't think you're alone in that. I think there's a lot of people who like Sashomaru. He's so fluffy. He's got that little cloud thing. <laughs> He'll also tear you to pieces, but you know. <laughs> That's just hot. <laughs> Making a joke with Koti. Oh, with the fill of the anime thing, yeah. Yeah, Naruto eventually became that. I hate that it became that. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Uh, the characters here. My character is... I basically call him a cat because he looks at everything with cold indifference. He's actually been having more emotions now, though, so that's interesting. Character development for a, for a silent character. That's, that's new. 
Claude is... I'm gonna be honest here. Claude is a lovable, lovable character. Every single interaction he has with any of the rest of the cast is just a gem to behold. I love just watching Claude all the time. Whenever I have support conversations, it's just great. Lorenz! I surprisingly like Lorenz. When I first saw him, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this guy, but he's actually a really interesting character. He comes from a noble family. He does have that mindset of nobles are superior to commoners, but at the same time, he also has the mindset that because they are, you know, so important, they also have a duty to the commoners to help them and serve them. And that's like, okay, that's actually kind of interesting with that mindset. Okay. So, he's getting knocked down a bit by uh, some characters about uh, his assumptions of nobility, but I really like him. Like, I surprisingly like him. Alright, let me catch up on your chat here. One second. Honestly, I couldn't believe that Inuyasha had a sequel coming. Yeah, I felt that they wrapped it up already. Or I, th I thought I heard that, that they wrapped it up already. Huh. Death Note is one of my favorite anime. Ah, oh, good for you, Energy Rosier. I've seen parts of it. And by parts, I mean a couple clips in here and there. Code Geass? I have seen Code Geass. It was okay. Like, it didn't leave a huge impact on me, but it was okay. I, I'll i be honest, I kind of prefer the, uh, the Code Ment series, which is uh, pretty much an abridged series of Code Geass. I actually saw the Code Ment series first, and then because I enjoyed that so much, I then went and watched Code Geass to see what was going on. In the, to see if I could get any more of the jokes by watching it, and it's okay. Like, I've got no gripes against it. I know some people who really hate the anime, but I, I have no gripes against it. Sport conversations are one of the things about Fire Emblem that I love. It gets you to know more of the characters. Yes, I absolutely love them too. Yo, you got a net. She's seriously best. <laughs> okay, I've got to tell you a story about me getting a net. Um, when I <clears throat> started playing the game, I'm like, I'm not really sure what characters I want in my house and whatnot. So I just kind of went along with it. And uh, <laughs> I started with my initial house characters here. And eventually I... Uh, I got Dorothea, and I also got... I was, like, working my way to getting Bernadette, because I thought, you know, she's a shut-in. She, I can, I can kind of relate a little bit to that. I'm not exactly a shut-in, but I like staying in my room a lot. Uh, so I could kind of ish relate to that, and I thought, you know, eh, it'd be interesting to have her in there. And then we got Flane automatically, and I'm just... And I immediately, once I get Bernadette, I think to myself, I have all but one of the lollies in my class. <laughs> I got Lysithia, I got friggin' Flane and Bernadette. The only one I didn't have was Annette, and she was, you know, one that was easy enough for me to get a hold of. I just had to, like, increase her support level and whatnot, and I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'll have a class of lollies. <laughs> fuck it, why not? I'm one step away from it, so why the fuck not? <laughs> I also got, uh, the professors because, uh, because I just wanted them in my class because it's like, hey, all you other classes, I have your professors in my class. <laughs> I am the cr true king of this school. I rule the school like none other. I also got Catherine and Shamir because why not? Anyways, let me check up on the chat again, see what's going on. This game's even better. How is Bunny Link? <laughs> Thought Japan was done with it like Dragon Ball. Japan's never done with Dragon Ball. On that suit bit. Yeah, that is funny. I did the exact same thing with Kogi Ass. Anime Batman? No, that's uh, Big O. 
Big O is anime Batman. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, Raphael is just a big snuggle bear. Like, there's nothing else I can say about him. He is a giant snuggle bear. Ignatz is kind of fun. You know, he's a painter. I like that. I can relate. Like, this is, like, Cynthia is kind of a bitch. But, I mean, I know she doesn't mean ill by it. It's just... <laughs> I I mean I like her, don't get me wrong. I like her, but she she does come off a bit harsh at times. I'm aiming for Marianne in my relationship uh whatever, so you know That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> I love this tired, sad girl. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> Then there's Hilda. Hilda is my fucking tank. And it's just so interesting because in every cutscene, cut scene, she's like, I'll just stand at the sidelines because I'm no good at fighting. I'm just no good at fighting. And I'm like, you're a tank. I send you a alone against like six dudes and, and a moment later there's six corpses. And you're just standing there going, I'm just no good at fighting. You... What? <laughs> You are the best at fighting! You are my tank! You're more tanky than Raphael! I mean, what the fuck, Hilda? <laughs> You're a friggin' tank! Uh, then there's Leone. She's, uh... Not really too much to say other than she's hardworking, she's a warrior character, she's also constantly competing with me to be uh, my dad's best child, even though my dad's dead now, so, you know... <laughs> In-game dad. I'm back about Melrola. She was voiced by the original voice of Ash. Kind of strange, isn't it? Oh, you mean Ash as in Ash Ketchum from Pokemon? That's, that sounds about right. So to talk about anime, does Pokemon count? Yes! Voice sound familiar, plus she was... Sailor Pluto in the Viz dub of Sailor Moon. Ooh, nice. Do you have any handsome guys in your team? The boys in Sailor Moon were boring. The boys in Sailor Moon were boring? I mean, kinda. <laughs> Kilda, Kilda, Kilda. Lice is the best mage in the game. I kinda heard about that. Anyways, that's for hot guys in my team. I guess I got, uh, Claude. And, I mean, how can you not love Raphael? I mean, let's be honest here. Ignatz is our sweet boy. And... I like Lawrence. Like, I know some people might not appreciate Lawrence too much, but I really like the conversations he has with everybody. I enjoy it. Um, oh yeah, and we have Cyril. I've heard Cyril is the most hated character in this game. I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it. I don't think he's a bad unit in battle, but as far as character and support conversations go, I don't care too much for him. I really don't. He just kind of... He just kind of came with the with, with as the game pro progressed. He's just kind of here now. Yeah, list the Death Knight's only fear. Uh, that's not how you spell Leone. <laughs> Leone took out the Death Knight when I needed her to. She did damage. There were boys in Sailor Moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that dude that kept throwing the roses, remember? <laughs> what was he what was he named? Uh suit face cover or something like that? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh 
Yeah, but not many main guys. Most men are just characters of the episode characters. Yeah. I mean, I like, I kind of like the, uh, the surfer dude who stays at, uh, Sailor Mars's place. I thought he was fun. I say this as I have all 200 episodes of Sailor Moon. I bought all of the re-released uh, new dub videos. I still haven't watched all of them. I'm still on the... Uh, what arc would that be? Uh, the one where they're going up against the dude called Prince Diamond or something like that. I think that was his name. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> I just started buying the DVDs after a while, and I'm like, I'll watch it later. <laughs> now I think I have all the DVDs. I think I'm becoming like your Zelda and Tetra Bridge. <laughs> oh no! Tuxedo Mask Tower. I, I know his name, I was making a joke. That's why I called him Suit Face Cover. But yeah. Black Moon Arc. Yep, that's what it was. Anyway. I don't think I have anything else to... Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have plenty of stuff to do today. What am I talking about? What's on my calendar? It's still this day. I thought... I did everything this day already. Did I not save after doing shit? Well, fuck me, then. Okay, I've clearly already talked to everybody, so... I played this yesterday, so... <laughs> After work. Anyway, let me check my stats here. How's it going, Dorothea? Showing up them legs. Anyway. <laughs> Let's see here. I... Whoops, that's the wrong button. Skills. We got sword at B, lance at E, axe at E+, plus, bow at E+, plus, brawl at E+, plus, reason at E, faith at C, authority at C, heavy armor E, riding E, and flying E. How... evil. <laughs> I probably should increase one of these other stats, but I don't really... I don't really want any other students, so... I don't know. It's our boy, Paul, Mr. Streams, man. Thanks again, Show Me Rocks. I just recently got internet back up and running and working, so... I'm doing a quick uh, stream while I got the chance. Should I get Ash? He makes a good archer. Uh, what would I need to get Ash? I think I asked Ash if he wanted to join, and he said no. And I forgot what stats I needed to raise to get him. Not just the kid. Who are yeah, I already asked him to if I could recruit him. Also, I've got like so many archers. <laughs> I have so many archers. I mean. I've got Claude, I've got Ignatz, I've got Leone, I got Bernadette, um, I got Cyril. I've got too many archers. <laughs> I like that you're telling me not to say the F word and you spell it out in the text. <laughs> It's like, I'm pretty sure she's going to take your phone anyway, buddy. Diamond, Pr Prince Diamond is meh. <laughs> Austin Leone is a great unit and character. She is. I've got her. You should upgrade the reason. It is very useful, especially once you become your spoiler class. Hmm. What house did you pick? I picked the deer. I got venison on the brain. <laughs>
But yeah, reason? If I'm going with reason, I think I'll go talk to Hanneman to boost that stat. Shamir is also a sniper. Oh yeah, that's right. Also Shamir. Like I said, I have too many snipers. I don't need any more archers. You've lost someone. Man, what we can't. I, won't. You're okay. I already talked to you. Shut up. Faculty training. Up my reason. Great! It did not level up. Shameful. Manuela, what do you give me? Not reason. You're useless to me, Manuela! You and your tits! Anyway. <laughs> really? Yes, really. Shut up. Excuse me. Professor, I know. I forgive just no. Oh, you do teach reason. Nice. Practice yields result. Indeed it does. Alright, uh, I think that's all the reason I'm gonna get for today, because... Yeah. Gonna take all that as I can today, and... We're gonna do some stuff. Dorothea is awesome. Of course she is. The dubs are weird. Zoysite's supposed to be male and, and Deke. He's a, yeah. Those are the old dubs. They are fun, though. The old dubs of Sailor Moon are fun. 7.8 out of 10. Too many snipers. No, I just have too many snipers in my house right now. Because I just kept getting all the snipers. Is this after a certain spoiler event? I've already mentioned that my dad is dead. And it caused a lot of confusion in the chat. People are like, your dad is dead? And I'm like, in the game, guys. In the game. <laughs> Ash is good as a Wyvern Rider too. His personal skill is lockpick, so he can distance snipe chests. Ooh. Neat. Anyway. Let's see, who do I... Like, I already have a net, right? Yeah, we already confirmed that, but I'm double confirming just in case. We do. So. Guess I can bring in Hilda and... Eh, yeah, why not bring Ferdinand in here? Why not? I haven't had, heard him sing before. Dance to go along with it. I don't think in a church that's appropriate, lady. Hilda. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. <laughs> He's part of the Ferdinand Von Choir! <laughs> Have any of you seen those videos? They are so, so much fun. Like, I'm pretty sure they spoil a few things. I, I don't quite get it. I can guess at a number of things but from those videos, but I don't quite get it. Anyways, my authority is up. Practice. Respect my authority! It was such a bummer seeing Baileth all sad. Yeah, and then his dad laughs at him because he's crying. <laughs> what an asshole, right? <laughs> That's not what happened, technically. Did I do the greenhouse stuff already? I always have to check these. I am Ferdinand Von Choir. Shit, you beat me. <laughs> yes. Okay, I already did do the planting. Alright. Yes, they're hilarious. Yeah, I see them. <laughs> they are good. Still not getting over Sailor Neptune and Uranus being cousins instead of being lesbians. It's like... 
the thing is, when I first saw it, I didn't know what homosexuals were at the time. But even I could tell, like, these two are far too close to be cousins. They are, they are definitely in a relationship. That is, like, instead of, instead of, like, trying to make them not uh, lesbians, they just ended up making them incestuous lesbians. It's like, that's not better! <laughs> that is so much worse! You're a silent character, not supposed to show emotion. <laughs> now the best part of the game, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm told. <laughs> I enjoy it well enough. Ah, shit. I fucked it up. I fucked it up! This fish is worthless now! Doesn't matter how many excellence I get, it's still only good. Fuck you, Caledonian Gar. There. That's how you catch a fish. Perfect. White trout. Which I think is less than the Caledonian Gar. <laughs> what do they want to see Bailiff do a Cartman voice? I'm not going to attempt it. I'm not good at that voice. Never heard of those videos? You've never heard? Oh. Oh. Effie girl Katsuya. Let me take a moment. Let me take a moment. Just a second. I need to... I need to find these for you. They are... Such a fucking treat. One second. I am... Um, I'm certain I... Clicked like on them, so they should be on my list here somewhere. Here we go. From Toxicure. Uh... All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can switch the stream the stream over so that you guys can watch these with me because I'm gonna stream them. I gotta protect the kids from homosexuals by exposing them to incest. It's the only way. <laughs> Drop on the desk and flop like a fish. This is hyper as shit. <laughs> See a hypothetical salamander. <laughs> it has jokes you Fernand Von require. It does at that. One second. One second, I will have this in a moment. Once I figure out how to do it, that is the wrong display. One sec, screen's just gonna go dark for a little bit while I fix this. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of those. All right. Let's see, is it uh, gonna wait until it shows on my? There we go. Yep, it's there. All right. So, let's see, I need to make certain that the desktop audio is on, that you'll be able to hear it as it's playing. 
I also need to switch the desktop audio to my headset because that's how this works. All right, let me. Almost ready here, guys. Just, uh, just give me a sec. Oh, gee, did I just see the inside of the matrix? <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Where are you going to begin? Ah, fuck, it's on mute. Damn it. <laughs> I messed it up. I already messed it up. All right, let me know if uh, this is too loud for you guys. I'm going to shut up because otherwise I'm just going to laugh the whole time. I'm going to mute myself. All right, here's the IVII. Say Sylvain is hitting on some fly girl. You give him one of these. So which So which house will you choose? Okay, this is comparing apples with nails in it to oranges with thumbtacks in it to a pizza that's clearly been shit on. So golden deer? Yes, please. Care to join me by the Ferdinand von Fire? Would you like to be my Ferdinand von Squire? You are Ferdinand von Hired! Wait, this is probably ill advised. You're Ferdinand von Fired. Oh, I'm sure I'm Ferdinand von Tired. Oh, what do we. We need a plan. Ferdinand von Conspire. What I'm saying is, you, Rhea, Flane, and I are. Like a family. Oh. Daddy? Nope. 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 By the goddess, nope. Sorry, Hilda. You failed your test. You'll have to do detention. Why can't we go to the sauna like the other class does? I don't know what kind of sick operation Byleth is operating, but here, young lady, we do detention. Ugh, this class sucks! <clears throat> Time for the Ferdinand von Choir! Rhea, can't we have, like, a fourth house? What? Do you want me to pull a house out of the sewers or something? Because there's one down there. I'll totally do it for you. I love you. Alright, we're going in the basement. Everyone pick someone from your class. I will take Linhart, as he is our resident healer and a crest expert. I will take Ash, as he always tries his hardest, and his optimism will keep our spirits high. I'll take Hilda, because this is a punishment for her. Weak! Come on, big guy. Let's go into town, get some drinks, find a few ladies. And then, slaughter Edelgard? No. Like other ladies that I we- put her head on a spike while her body convulses under my boot! Whoa, Dimitri, pull yourself together. You're right. I'm cool. I'm, I'm calm. Let's just hit on some of the guards here. Guard? Fatal guard! God is damn it, Dimitri. Mm, harder, mommy. You are a Ferdinand von Liar! What are you? President of the Boar's Fan Club or something? No, I'm simply a member of it. However, I am president of the Ash Fan Club. Welcome to the Bad at the Bitches Club. It's actually the Bad Bitches Club. Is that not what I am saying? Oh no, I'm in the wrong club. We thought you were dead! We let Fernand von Pyers! I was Fernand von Cryer. Hey, you want to see something cool? Watch this. I, Constance Von Nouvelle, will... Be lower than the dirt. Unlike House Nouvelle, which I will restore... Unlike myself, who is utterly useless to... Behold the glory that is me! What are you gonna do now, Teach? Now you've got two beautiful scheming assholes. Oh no. <coughs> <coughs> He just threw sand in my face! Tactics! I've never been Ferdinand von Spryer! 
The way you brew this tea is simply noble. Indeed, Ferdinand. I am simply enamored by your noble efforts. I couldn't have asked for guests with more noble table manners. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. That flame emperor is kind of cool. Don't you think so, Professor? I heard they're super hot under that mask. And like they have an eight pack. I'm working to pay down my debts here, Professor. Give me five gold and I'll keep my shirt off. You drive a hard bargain, Balthus. I'm here to Ferdinand von Inspire! <sighs> I'm not upset with you. I'm upset with myself for believing in you. As you should be! Uh, what happened to your eye? I tore it out and shoved it down a fleeing bandit's throat so I could see why he was so gutless. Um, gross, but also kind of cool. It's coming down to the Ferdinand von Wire. In fact, I'd say this is very Ferdinand von Dyer. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Can I get a waffle? Can I please get a waffle? As he is. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> so, what'd you guys think? <laughs> I thought that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Let's see, make sure I'm coming in here. Okay, yeah. It says it's picking me up. Both this is just the best. I haven't bought the DLC yet, so I wouldn't know, but uh Hey now it's Gilbert. <laughs> I really like it. There's a second video too if you guys want to watch that. Uh, I'll wait for people to comment on if they want to see the next one or not before deciding on that though. What the fuck was that? That was Fire Emblem Three Houses. <laughs> a Toxicure parody animation which I thought was very good. <laughs> I'm here to Ferdinand von Inspire! Go for it. I want to see it. <laughs> well, we got two votes for that. Let's uh, wait till we can get past this ad here that I'll... Put the video up. I wonder what she would do if she was a little boy who likes to play a card game about digital creatures. What? Oh, you're talking about Toxic Cures videos. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You guys ready? Well, I've already got two votes for it. Can't show me rocks, and I already have the video up here. So. From the neutral planet, so I don't care either way. <laughs> God, because we're watching it! <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Uh, get ready to start. So, Ilfric is dead. After all the things he did for our benefit. Kinda tragic, eh? Paul, this... this is a funeral. Put your shirt back on. But these are my comforting ads. <laughs> Shh, don't be afraid. Let my eight-pack soothe you. Has anyone seen Ferdinand? Yeah, I think he's up in that tower. 
Do you mean the Ferdinand von Spire? Oh, jeez, it's gonna be around here somewhere. I can't believe I lost it. Oh, they're gonna be so mad at me if they find it. Oh, jeez, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna put me up on a stake and Bernadetta? they're gonna... Oh, no. I know you're in there, Bernadetta. Is this your Hubert and Ferdinand erotic friend fiction? I found... I'm gonna pass it to you under the door. Read the first line of this Hubert Ferdinand erotic fan fiction and tell me if it's yours. I'm pushing it under the door. Hey, Teach, when are we having that talent show? What talent show, Claude? Well, I mean, Ignatz paints, Leonie can hunt, and Lawrence is a complete and utter clown. Ooh! Beep. And Lawrence can show us how not to cut your hair. Oh! Beep. Lawrence can show us what an angry fish looks like. Oh! Yeah, just like that. And these are your new goals. Wait, reason? What am I supposed to do with this? Bludgeon someone? Caspar, like it or not, I have everyone's future planned. Don't smile. Not unless you feel like it. I'll wait around until you do feel like smiling. And if you must sigh, then do so. I'll slay any number of beasts for you. Dee Dee sure is sweet. He's so kind. He's, uh, standing on a pile of dead bodies. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Dimitri Alexander Blathed, Claude von Regan, Edelgard von Hressfeld, Hubert. No, no, nope. Not gonna remember any of that. Dee Dee, Claudster, Eddie and the Bert, Freckles, and some sort of. Goblin? No! Oh, she bit me! The Kremlin bit me! Did you fuck my dad, Professor? Annette, there's not a lot of solid options for my gay ass. Why, hello. Hey, uh, Healy guys, I think I'm still bleeding. Hmm, I diagnose you with being a little bitch. Can I... Get the second opinion. You're also dumb. No, oh, aren't you adorable? I'm eight ounces of whoop ass. Dad, I'm gonna need like eight more of these little teal bitches. You can do anything you Ferdinand Vaughn desire. You know, maybe if we explain to Dimitri the whole evil church thing, he'd join in in your stupendously ill thought plans. I've watched Dimitri eat grass. Obviously, he can't be reasoned with. Leonie, do you know any other words that start with F? F uh, Gerald? You stole this joke from High on Daisy. Ferdinand, I've been getting complaints from the other students about your jokes. You know you love them. Don't be a Ferdinand Von denier. No, time to end your Ferdinand Von satire. But I have more jokes that you may Ferdinand Von require. I think it's time you Ferdinand Vaughn retire. Not until I Ferdinand Vaughn expire! I really wish you'd stop wearing sexy goddess cosplay on the battlefield. I really wish you'd shut up, Sedith! That's a nice cake you've got there, Yuritsa. Would be a shame if there were some dark spikes here. I can't believe I'm being bullied by a six-year-old. The fuck you say? Nothing. Nothing. I like my men like I like my woman. Yes. Ah, I have done it, Professor. I am Ferdinand von Flyer. <sighs> Ferdinand. Do you ever feel like our love lives are calculated by a higher being? Mm, Dorothea, what the fuck? It's 3 a.m. Go to bed. It's noon, Lynn. Emil, my younger brother. Younger bro- That man is 47. Um, uh, Professor, this is like the third time this month you've asked me to dinner. Is something wrong? Well, it's not like I can take the lolly in my head. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to Toxicure. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up getting a Fire Emblem Three Houses parody number three. Alright. <laughs>
I do so, so love that. Like, I saw that video and I'm like, that's it. I can't fucking wait anymore. I need to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I love it. It is a good time. <laughs> she bit me! The gremlin bit me! <laughs> And you made the best choice. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Ferdinand, Ferdinand von expire. <laughs> hey, squid system. Watch me fish! Red fish! The intensity ex exudes! Perfect! Queen loach. Try another blowfish. This requires so much concentration. Tetutasloch. <laughs> He's doing it! He's fishing! Oh gosh! There we go. More fish! I require more fish! I have so much bait. If I wanted to, I would never stop. But I have other things to do, so this is gonna be the last one. Ah, shit! Ending on a failure! Sounds like me. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, by the way. Oh, no. This made me cry. Like, this actually made me cry. Professor. Thank you for all you have done for us. Nothing to report today. Like, I actually started crying at that. Hello there. And I'm like, God dang it, this game is good. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Shut up. Alright. You know, I have three different... You can see each time, right? I did not. I just catch what's there. Can I show you a video? It's six seconds. I think you'll like this one. Uh, sure? It's not really, uh... You can't really send links through the chat, though, I don't think. Gatekeeper Kun. <laughs> yeah, he made me cry. His tears made me cry. No. Yes. I suppose we can build up some relation with Ash here. I 
Ah, let's do this. I love to cook. What are we making today? Is that so? I have a lot of experience in the kitchen. I can make just about anything. Wow. Good for you, Ash. I'm probably never going to invite you to my team, but eh. Whatever. Hmm. Want to invite Seto. Maybe I can invite Felix too. I kind of need more swordsmen. Ash cook him. <laughs> nice. Maybe comment in one of your videos. Uh, could you just put in the name of the video and I'll look it up? Still thinking Ash Jarrett just died. Stop being cheerful. <laughs> Alright, let me see how I am with support for everyone. Still waiting on Marianne's support increase. Apparently I'm also waiting on Bernadetta. Let's see here. Apparently I've already had Ash's uh, C rank. I don't remember it, though. Huh. I like Petra, too. She seems like an interesting character. I'm waiting on Sedith's B rank as well. I don't know, should I invite Rhea? I don't know if I wanna. She creeps me out a little, to be honest. Let me check my uh, videos here for that video. Oh shit, did I not... <laughs> Whoops. I forgot to add my latest episode to my playlist for the Wind Waker series. Oh no wait, yes I did. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. I thought I was on episode... I thought I was already done episode 8, but I'm still writing that one. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> I think I've seen that one before. Uh, Zelda Queen. Petra is super useful. I might try to raise her support then. Otherwise... Everyone in my class except for Annette, Hanneman, Catherine, Shamir, like those are the only ones who aren't uh, aren't at B. So I guess I'll focus on Annette and uh, Petra for the meal. Let's see, they don't appear in the menu, do they? No. Not this one. Let's see, there's Annette. Petra's not in that one, though. There she is. And that's not in this one, though. Let's 
again, Petra. No Petra or oh nope, there's Petra. Just no Annette that time. Petra again. Do Petra and Annette just not have same the similar uh, food choices? There's Annette. Ah. Like the same food, so I can invite you together. Damn it. Finally. Damn. I would be liking that greatly. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? All right. What is support now? Haha! -ha. Oh, when she's ready to speak with me. Fine! I see how it is! I probably have to wander around the map a bit for it to show up. Anyway, I still love hearing the part with the pie and ice cream in the latest episode. That guard is the friendliest guard ever. <laughs> yep, and he's the bad guy. That was the that was the joke. You can find it go anywhere and find nicer people. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at the bad guy's place, you find a nicer person. It's like, really? <laughs> I love that. Alright, so, what else do I need? So, Annette. I really don't care that much about Hanneman. <laughs> I probably should. But I don't. I don't. It's Catherine and Shamir, but... I don't know. Do I really care that much about them? Ugh. Shut up, YouTube. Stop asking me to rate videos. <laughs> the rating was good. I'll see if I can get Claude and Lawrence so I can get their, uh, their stuff up. Lawrence is not in this one. Dang it. There we go. Hanneman is kind of bad. He performs as well as you can expect of an old man. Yeah, I kind of guessed that when I used him a couple times. He's not terrible, but... Eh. Why get Hanneman when you can get Manuela? I have Manuela. I got both of the professors, just so I could <laughs> rub it in the other class's face that I have your professors in my class! <laughs> I rule the school! Whenever I eat with you, Lawrence, I always feel like I have to mind my manners. It's awful. <laughs> Good. You should mind your manners even when I'm not watching. You are a noble after all. <laughs> I love my dumbasses. Anyway. Professor? Oh, hi. That's, uh... Did you just back up and then walk forward? Watch this! I can go through the poles! I am incorporeal! I think I used that word correctly. Sup, Sothis. This is the lolly who lives inside my head. Anyway. Hi, owl. You better not shit around in here. This is where I sleep! And you're right above my desk here. Don't you fucking do it. I don't think I ever used him in battle outside of for the purpose of supports. I played through every single path. Ah, oh, nice. 
because Hanuman gets Meteor, and in that case, just use Dorothea. <laughs> yeah. I intend to. Anyway, we got one more thing left that we can do. Professor. What? Do you have something to say or are you just making noises? You fucking get back here. <laughs> hey, King Duty. I finally got internet again. We'll see how long it lasts. I can't phase through this pole. Bayless the Phantom. <laughs> Alright, so... Four supports. Hmm. We're close to the smash trailer part. Okay. Don't pay attention to him. He's not even a main character. You talking about Hanneman? <laughs> I don't know, Chad, who do you think I should invite to eat for one last meal? I can invite two people, except for, uh, ones I can't invite are Claude and Lawrence, because I just had them. Uh, Annette and, uh, Petra, because I just had them. I suppose I haven't invited Ash to eat, but again, I have so fucking many archers. <laughs> so many archers! Anyway. By the way, fun fact. Um, when we had the, uh, the three-way battle between the Golden Deer, the Red Eagles, and the Blue Lions, the Red Eagles got absolutely destroyed. Just completely obliterated by the Blue Lions. And I'm like... I mean, I know I took a few characters from you guys, but did it really hurt you that much? I mean, I only took Dorothea at the time. Like, that was it. Did that really hurt you so much that the blue lines just completely destroyed you? Jeez. Sucks to be you. And the guy who said, hey, professor. Yeah. That's always kind of annoying. It's like, hey, professor. It's like, yes, what do you need? And then there's people like, really? Like, I was ten feet away from you while running. I'm just... Ugh. Just run a party of only archers. You'll be fine. That will not last. I will tell you that right now. You can always change him from an archer to another class. But yes, but is he any good at any other class? That's the real question here. And find someone you want to fuck. I've already talked with Marianne. I'm waiting for her next support uh, rank to unlock, so... <laughs> no point in that. Didu stance... <laughs> Didu? I don't think that'll make much of a difference inviting Didu, because he's kind of a... Uh... Where is Didu? He's not even on here. So yeah, I wouldn't even get a support rank with him. She's a good offensive offense mage. Yeah, but she shouldn't have complete her absence shouldn't have completely threw the battle for the Red Eagles. 
I mean, the Wu Lions came in with Dudu and four other heavy armor knights, or three other, three other heavy armor knights, and just completely wasted the Red Eagles. I'm like, that's kind of cheap, isn't it? Ash is very powerfully mediocre. <laughs> You cannot recruit to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Can't recruit to do or any of the, or uh, Hubert or the house leaders. I call him Hubert. Yeah, I know I can't recruit him. I was just wondering if there was a support rank for him. Oh, get Sylvan. Or Sylvain. Thinking about it. I've been wanting to get Felix. Or I've been trying to see if I could get Felix. Because I have high speed and high swordsmanship. But for some reason Felix is just like. Nah you're not good enough for me. It's like fuck you Felix. He's the best dark knight. But that's what I have Lawrence for. Forget the eagles, forget the deer. I'm joining the House of Mouse. Oh my gosh. I honestly Bernie because she reminds me of myself when I was young. Yeah, I got Bernie. She's in my she's in my class. <laughs> You know what, whoever I can get with the today's special, I'll take that. Ferdinand, Felix, Sylvan. Okay, so everyone that, all the ones that were suggested to me, Ferdinand, oh right, Ferdinand wasn't the one that you suggested. Sylvan, Sylvain was, the other one was, you know what, I don't think you guys suggested another one. Huh. Eh, whatever. Yeah, but uh, I need more sword swordsmen, so I guess I'll invite Felix too. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. That looks appetizing. Significantly grew before us, and I'm almost to B plus in my. My professor levels. My professor levels are rising! Okay, that's all I can do. I'm gonna... Dart teleport over here and see if that affects the map any. Aha! There it is! Go by the stables. I can talk to Petra, see what she, uh... See what she wants to say. I love the way she talks. She reminds me of Starfire. With the way she talks. Uh, professor, I am not understanding where the meaning is here. When and how is this expression used? I fell for it. I fell in love? I fell ill? How would I not know what that is? Oh, Byleth, you dumb, handsome idiot. No, that is what you say when you meet the mate of your soul. The expression is, I fell for it. Allow me to explain. Thank you, Professor. I finally have understanding. Can I ask you about another word? The one that is written here. Mm -hmm. 
Is something on my face? Your cheeks are on your face! <laughs> I want to choose it, but I, I don't. Oh, damn it. I should have saved before doing this. Shit! Damn it! <laughs> I just want to see her reaction, but I'm afraid that she'll lose support rank if I do. Ah! 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 You're so enthusiastic. I am without much time to study. I must use my time with wisdom. Is that really what you are thinking? Or maybe you have curiosity about the mark on my face? The mark? You are already knowing that I am from Bridget. This is a mark from Bridget. It is a prayer to the forest spirits. A prayer to be protected. The choices you make in support conversations don't really matter. Ah, damn it. Wait. Wait a second, once this is done, I think I can do something. Hunters ask the forest spirits to have safe and bountiful hunting. There are many spirits in Bridget. I have more marks on my arms and back. They are prayers for my family's health and triumph. Are you wanting to see them? Yes! <laughs> Now I'm worried. <laughs> I would love to. Ah. That gives me happiness. If there is ever the chance, you will see them. I have much gratitude for you, Professor. You always listen with patience. I can read and understand the language of Fogun, but to speak it, uh, it gives me difficulty. I hope I will keep having your support, and I will give you my support too. With my whole heart. I have things that I cannot fail to accomplish. Let's do our best. Yes. We will keep walking forward. Alright, so we're gonna save quick and then I'm gonna check on something. Because I might be able to... Have that conversation... Oh, wait. Might be a faster option here. Nope. Never mind. Instead, let's close this. Then let's enter it again. And do this. Loading. Go to the title screen. You can rewatch them in X. Yep, I'm. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware of that, Cody Nelson. Ah. Uh, professor, when and how? No, that the expression. Thank you, but can I ask you about it? Hmm? Is something... Your cheeks are on your face. Yes, I know about that. Okay, that would have gone up anyway. <laughs> that is a joke of Fogun, right? <laughs> is that really what you are thinking? Or maybe you have a <laughs> okay. okay, I'm a little sad that I didn't pick that the first time. Run, little man. Jumping, jumping. Disco dancing. Now running. Disco dancing again. Oh, running. Disco dancing. <laughs> Make up your mind of what you want to do, little bailiff. Let's run the other way.
Alright, I think that's everything we can do for, uh... For this day. And so... Controlled by the controller? I've... Oh, you mean tilting the whole controller? I did not know that. Moving on. Instruct manually. Alright. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna try to get uh, Dorothea's faith up. Bernadette, I need something else besides just bows and lances, but I'm not quite sure what to do. I've been having her train with the horse. Leone is pretty well diversed, as far as I can see. Hilda's got her selection of stuff. She is our tank, our mighty, mighty tank. Marianne for a while was just kind of all over the place. Now I have her mostly focusing on faith and horses. She seems to like horses. And lances. Like, she's got a hidden talent for that. That's what these three stars mean. Also, Leone and Sylvain have opposite effects, so they get bonuses for being next to the opposite of opposite gender. Yeah, I'm, I was aware of Leone's. That makes sense for Sylvain. I hate this portion of the game. I enjoy it, because it lets you control uh, what kind of characters, or what kind of units your characters are going to be. So tedious and boring. Again, I enjoy it. My only difficulty is Deciding what to change and what to leave the same. I have Flane as my dancer, by the way. Yeah, up her reason so she gets that... That increase. No need to discontinue with the praises. <laughs> Yeah! Hidden budding talent! I still have talent, I see. Yes! You do! It's budding! When I first played this game, I went all in on flying for Marianne, only to find out that there are no flying magic classes. Yeah, that's kinda that's kinda sad actually. Sadly, Marianne doesn't really have very good attack stats in in my game here. So, training her to attack anything in anything but magic is kind of uh, pointless. I had Flane as a dancer in my first playthrough too. In my Golden Deer route, Dorothea was my dancer. That sounds about right. <laughs> Go out there and humiliate yourself publicly. <laughs> nice. They added one for DLC, but you have to pay for it. I mean, that's fine. I can still play the game even without a flying magic user. I would train Marianne in swords as a secondary for future reasons. Uh, she kind of has some skill in swords. I'll show that to you in a bit. I'm just trying to decide if I want to continue training uh, Flane in reason. Or if I want to get her... I suppose I can just... Get her... Uh... Oh, she'll probably just level that up on her own on the field. So, I guess maybe I'll give her reason to... Uh... 
to increase. One sec, let me take a look at your stats. You have very low strength. Really good magic. Dexterity, speed, luck, defense, reason. Charisma is 30. God dang it. God dang it, girl. But yeah, strength isn't very high, so having her learn much attack classes isn't really, or attack skills isn't really useful. She's already got B plus in faith, so... I guess I could probably increase her reason and she'll have more magic class availability. Get Marianne's reason and swords up, she'll start critting everything? Really? Neat. I don't know, do you guys think I should still go with uh, Flame increasing reason for Flame or just... Like what exactly? Because she's gonna keep using a uh, Faith ability even as a dancer. I think. I think she has that ability as a dancer. I haven't had her in battle as a dancer yet, so... I could not say. Ugh. Excuse me. Yeah, I can see some people seeing this as tedious, but I really like it. Like I said, my only problem is trying to pick what should what I should increase or not. Increase Flame's faith. It's already at B plus though. Like it feels like she'll get more experience out in the field using her faith using faith rather than in the classroom at this point. Like she only gets seven per use, and that's not gonna give her a lot at two hundred and eleven needed for the next level. I'll just use the rest of my rest of her uh, motivation on on reason. Alright, and as for Marianne, as you can see, she's in the D with swords. She had a hidden, uh, budding talent for, uh, lances, so I had her learn that. She's not very good at using them. Uh, <laughs> she's pretty good at faith. She has nothing in authority. So, yeah, she's got horses. Both flying and ground, so, you know. Having just tuned in and having never really played or watched this game before, only heard about it, I have no idea what to expect besides this part of the game. It's basically just Fire Emblem, but with a few added things that I really like. Mm. Anyway. Suppose we'll get her reason up, or her, not reason, her, what was it you suggested? Authority and sword? I think you guys were saying about, uh, Marianne? No, her reason and swords up. Might as well go reason for Marianne? Yeah, why not? Ooh, she gets Blizzard as her first spell. Nice. Perfect! I can't because she is. Oh, I'll try to get the next one too. That was nice. Maybe I've grown. Alright, you got skill level up. And ability, reason, reason oh, level one. Starting to make sense. Another perfect. God dang it, Marianne. Succeeding. 
Let's see. Who else? The only you're just kind of excelling in everything. Well, in the areas that you should be excelling in. Bernadetta, I should have you learn something besides just what you know right now. But for now, we're going to go to Dorothea and get her faith up again. Because she needs it. Yeah. Like the motivator, professor. Motivation is increase. What do you have? You have reason, authority, and a little bit in axes. What's your stats? Well, of the magic users, you probably have the best strength. <laughs> and you're only level 17. Ooh, and you have bullion. We can sell that for money. Manuela has sword and book. <laughs> sword and faith pretty much is her main thing. I kind of just use her as a healer anyways when I do use her. Now, the only question I have is who do I choose to increase? And that can do decent stuff with axes if you tutor her up. For future reasons. Yeah, why not? I was basically going to ask you guys uh, what you think I should increase for my characters. Because at this point it's like, I mean, I enjoy doing this. Thanks for your time. I love it. But I really don't know what else to give to these people that they aren't already excelling in. I mean, Bernadette, I feel like, should have other stuff, but I don't know. So go with the bow and the lance. And that it. I had her train a little bit with horses, so that maybe she could ha be like a cavalry archer or something like that. Take a look at the classes. Isaac question marks. Horses on Bernie. Keep doing horses with Bernie. All right. <laughs> we'll we'll increase uh, Bernie's horse D here. Also, I sh would probably have picked that anyways because her budding talent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring. This gets warped to with faith. Neat. I did pretty well today. Yeah, buddy talent. We did it. I guess I've got some talent. Now you excel. Good for you. Okay, I have one more. I can't please like Scythia. Hmm. See you, can't show me rocks. Thanks for joining us for as long as you could. Hope you enjoyed the stream for whatever it was. 
You got some bees. Is this your first FE game? No, it is not. <laughs> it is absolutely not. Let me see here. When you get Felix work on his reason immediately? Really? Well, if I get him, I'll do that. Teach Lawrence some faith. Alright. I'll take your suggestions, since I really don't know where, where else to go with these characters at the moment. This was hardly a challenge for me. Oh! I'm Lawrence. He's now D! I'm beginning to understand. He got the D! I will always make that joke. <laughs> it was only a trifle. That was adequate. Perfect. This was hardly a challenge for me. Alright, that's it for everybody. Now for the group tasks. And I guess Bernadetta. Who else, though, do I put in with Bernadetta for the horses? Lawrence, the love child of James from Pokemon and Pegasus, and Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> love it! I'll put her with Claude. As for goals... I would guess Sword and Reason? Oh no, wait. Sword and... Oh, no, Reason. It was Reason. All right. And for... Okay, Bernadette's already learning the horse. Learning... Faith and authority, which I think is all right for now. We got reason authority. I think. I'll have you switch to axes and authority. Let's see. Might as well keep Marianne going. She can be a good holy knight. Are holy knights in this without the DLC? Claude Hormsman. <laughs> Let's see. She got that reason. The Pegasus Knight. Not really too concerned with any of these guys. Manuela. I don't know, I'll give you authority. Hmm, what's your stats? Oh jeez, Manuel, your magic is garbage. Compared to my other magic users anyways.
it's just a horse magic class. I think that's the one that uh, comes with DLC, not uh, not the base game. At least that's what I was being told in the chat. Flying on Claude? Really? Alright. <laughs> Don't speak of that magic here. Turning your enemies into horses. Just focus on faith? I guess. Squid system horses are scary, especially when they're stampeding. Ha! <laughs> yeah. The horse magic classes are in the base game? Oh, really? The flying magic isn't? Ah. That should be fine for now, I guess. Well, actually. Switch it to reason and writing, so that should work. All right, uh, Bernard is fine. Dorothea, okay, I think I've got everything here. Let's begin the lecture. Learn. Hey, can I ask you something? What do you want, Claude? That was a fascinating lecture, but now my brain's fried. I feel like I need a change of pace to reinvigorate me. What would you recommend? Going for a stroll around the monastery. Go to the library and look for a rare reed. Catch a fish from the pond and cook it! I feel like for Claude, going to the library and look for a rare reed would be the... the answer for him, but I'll let, uh, I'll hear what you guys have to say. I'll wait. I'm always waiting. Have you finished your homework, Mr. Claude? He would probably like to read. That's what I would think. A lot of his uh, conversations seem to have to do with books and being in the library, so... Huh. I see. I was a cheater and looked up the correct answer. Professor, level up! I am now B plus. I am now even more B than before. The bees will blot out the sun. Then we will hug in the shade. <laughs> Activity points for exploration. Oh, even more of those now. Sup, girl. We get along well with horses, so I'm okay at riding them. If I were more confident with a lance, then maybe I might start to feel stronger? Uh No. 
I already have you at decent with a lance, and I have you learning reason and horses. Okay, um, let's go. We'll manage. We did okay. They did good. Release the butterflies. Refuse her! <laughs> know your place, healer. <laughs> healer! I have her learning other stuff besides healing stuff. All them skills. I feel like I get it now. Hope this is good for something. <laughs> I'm starting to get it. I understand more every day. I can now use fire. Age is but a number. A very large number. Saint Cyril's Day is today. There will be a hymn recital in the cathedral. Will you participate? Sure. Let us sing. This is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. Lo. Get it? Lo. The utter discord. I cannot stand it. I do wish everyone would listen to one another. Okay. <laughs> Does it just pick randomly who you uh, end up doing that with? It's Rhea's birthday! Oh shit, we better host a tea party or something. She'd probably get mad if we didn't. One sec, I'm looking up stuff for Rhea when it comes to the, uh, the tea. I always look up the tea because it's like, I want to try getting it right. I have failed at this before, a couple times. You think so? you guys think so? Seth comes in. Professor, did you teach my sister fire magic? <laughs> yes. She will burn the world. Burn it all. I love you, Paul. You're great. Oh, thanks, Zelda Queen. <laughs> you get excommunicated because you didn't come to my birthday party. <laughs> Dark Knight is physical and magic in the base game. Ah, that's what it is. Valkyrie is just horse magic for DLC. I see. Flynn at the pond, burn fishies. Burn, get in my tummy. <laughs> you mean executed? That's the same thing, King Duty. <laughs> Tea of the Saints... Well, according to this, it's either Angelica Tea, Crescent Moon Tea, or Chamomile. I have Crescent Moon Tea, and I have Chamomile. And I have t Angelica Tea. Let's see. It's three star for Chamomile, so I think I'm going to choose that one. So, yeah. I'm pleased to have been invited. I adore this. Thank you for preparing my favorite tea. Haha! -ha! Offer some tea! More tea! Alright, possible topics. A dinner invitation. I, I read these out loud to myself so I can remember them when given the options, because it's timed, so I don't have a lot of time to choose which op option. So this is how I this is how I remember what options to go for. <clears throat> A dinner invitation, children at the market, dreams of a throne, Roadland's, or Roadland, Fodland's future, 
Heart racing memories. I'm counting on you. Monastery security. Past laughs. Someone you look up to. The existence of crests. The view from the bridge. Working together. You're doing great work. A word of advice. Close calls. Exploring the monastery. Gardening mishaps. Hopes for your future. Monastery mysteries. Your Our first meeting. Plans for the future. Tell me about yourself. The ideal relationship. Things that bother you. You seem different. Books you've, rec you've read recently. Cooking mishaps. Fodland's future. Wait, didn't I... That's twice! That's twice on here! Gifts you'd like to receive. I heard some gossip. Monastery rules. Overcoming weaknesses. School days. Thanks for everything. The library's collections. Things you find romantic. You seem well. Uh, full in the future. Have you done any supports for Rhea yet? I've done one, I think. I think I've had C. Oh shit, I don't... I don't know. Word of advice? Okay, they're good. Alright, last one. Let's make this a perfect tea party. Heart racing memories. Yes! I did it! Have confidence. I truly believe you can lead your students down the right path. And the answer is Nod. Yes! Perfect tea time! At least we know we're not talking about school days. <laughs> yeah, school sucks. <laughs> Let's observe her. Stop! generations of archbishops. All right. Oh, the guides have gotten that good? I just type in uh, three houses, the character's name, and T, and I click on the first thing that comes up. <coughs> Excuse me. How quickly this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. We must. <laughs> Look at her face. Look at it. Well, they really enjoyed their time together. Hey, Baylith, you're kind of close. Both charm is increased by one. Oh, I'm still sad. All right, marketplace. Let's uh look for that bullion and sell it. I have a lot of money. So you don't need to replenish any. Already did that. Anything that needs repairing right away? No, 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 nah, nope, 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 nope. Wait, what items do you have? You just have axe and magic, huh? Interesting. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Wait, what was that? Oh, no. And no. Okay, so nothing needs to be repaired. Okay, how about certificates? I'm still increasing as a thief. You still got Lordy. Still a dark mage, or black mage, one or the other. Or just mage. It's just mage. You got... The... Brawler? No, that was the uh, one you finished. You're the brigand right now. Archer. Uh, warlock. The 
Cavalier. I should probably change that, maybe? Hmm. Every point of char charm increases the amount of chiseledness of the jawline. <laughs> nice. Let's see, you're heavy armor. You're a paladin. You're an archer. A mage. A mage. A dancer. A mage. A ma- or no, that's a priest. Swordmaster, Sniper, you got the Brigand as well. You guys think I should change uh, Marianne's class? Or do you think Cavalier is good for now? So I was checking our text messages. Okay, not too great with Paladin. Bishop is 69! <laughs> anyway. Oh, she looks cute. I like her outfit there. Why does she look as a warlock? Ooh! I like her as a warlock. I'm not gonna lie. I like her as a warlock. Her strength is kind of low, is it? it? It is very low. Like, it is 12, which isn't as low as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like 9 or something, but 12 is still pretty low. <laughs> Never, it's Gilbert. Ha <laughs> ha! Dangly parts. Or dingly parts. But yeah, she's got uh, 12 in strength. Get her out of the horse zone. I thought that was a good thing, though. I, mean, I guess she's got pretty good horse riding anyway. She needs magic powers. Uh, just, uh, I don't think she's getting mage anytime soon. Have to bring her back down to monk. Bishop is the best for Marianne. It is if I want her to be a healer, but I want her to be so much more. She needs magic and horse, but she can't get those yet. Well, not yet. Ah! Reason needs to be B, and writing needs to be A. Lance is already good. At least if this is what we're talking about, anyway. She looks like such a diva. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I go bishop right now, or... Or not bishop, but... No, yeah, bishop. 
Bishop or go back to Monk and try to increase her magic in battle. I don't know. I'll let, uh, I'll let you guys uh, decide. And while you decide, I'm going to go get some water because my throat is starting to hurt. Dehydrated! And I'm back. What I miss. Ugh. Ran as good as a holy knight, but that's the only time she should be on a horse. Okay. Okay, so bishop then. Why does she look as a warrior? Ooh, not bad. How about on a wyvern? The wyvern! Fortress knight. <laughs> Big girl. Big girls don't cry. Ooh, I like her as an assassin! Swordmaster. Got that leg! Okay, and Warlock. I like the Warlock. I really do. <laughs> sniper? Oh, Sniper's pretty cool. Let's discuss the intricacies of world politics. Please don't. <laughs> Alright, so going with, uh, well, you know what, she'll most likely pass. Let's try it. We got plenty of advanced seals to burn, so. Intense music! She passed! She is the Bishop! Yes, you did. Yes. Yes. Alright, as for everyone else, I think they're good at where they are for now. I could upgrade Hilda, but I want her to max out her uh, current class. Also, she's already so much of a fucking tank. <laughs> oh. Supports. Ooh. Hanuman Manuela. Let's listen in. Uh, Manuela, isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone the moment you see them enter the room? Hanuman, isn't it a bit rude to tell others how to behave? Besides, I could be sighing about any number of things more interesting than you. Goodness, you're unusually irritable today. Don't you imagine your attitude a bit excessive? You snap at every little thing. Your ill mood on display for one and all. It saddens me to see such behavior from one who should be setting a good example for the younger generation. Well, listen to the noble lecturing a lowly commoner to be on her best behavior. Oh, wait. I meant to say the former noble. I fail to understand how my birth is relevant to the topic at hand. I was merely trying to say that as a fellow adult... You're not done lecturing yet? Leave me alone and go pester someone else. Maybe leave everyone alone and go focus on your precious crest research. Ah, I don't know what to say to you, Manuel. I was only speaking out of honest concern. Oh, was that a sigh I heard? Isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone just because... Don't be so childish. You are so sensitive to ill will from others, yet you let your own emotions run wild. Why is it that you cannot keep a handle on yourself? 
got you a handle on? Well, I never. What makes you think you're so much better? Just because you keep your emotions bottled up behind your stupid stony face. Well, it doesn't mean everyone else has to do the same. Stop telling everyone how to behave, Hanuman. It will make you and the rest of us much happier. I will not stand for this insolence. It is high time someone taught you. Go on. If you think you can change me, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Thought so. You wouldn't dare. Absolutely insufferable. They make a cute couple. <laughs> Alright, I better save for right now. Now let's get to actual gameplay. I could go for the rare enemy, but nah. I need to do the quest and the paralogue. Well, actually, what else do I have this week? I kind of did... Well, I suppose I can increase support on the other two weekdays. So that'd be nice. We still be out on the rare monster sighting, but I really don't feel like I need to do that one. Bitch, bitch, bitch. There's, they're like a married couple. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I enjoy their I enjoy their talks. Yeah, let's uh Yeah, we'll do dividing the world and then cream of the crop. The level suggestion is nineteen. Ha 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 Oh, I have been over leveled for a while. I've been around level 20 for the last four months. <laughs> Where the goddess dwells. Hey, Professor. I might have to go back home for a little while. So some kind of emergency? Well, that's one way of putting it. The Almiran forces are causing trouble at Fodlin's Locket. Oh, do you know where that is? Well, the mountain range that separates the Alliance from Almira is called Fodlin's Throat. There's a fortress right on top of the throat, and they call that Fodlin's Locket. So you're going to help defend it? Well, yeah, you could say that. I'm sure my brother would be able to handle them on his own. But he said he really wants me to help out. I guess he's a bit tired out from all his hard work. Anyway, our dad's not as sprightly as he used to be. He's not up for a fight. Apparently it would look bad if we left it to the retainers. I really, really don't want to go, but I guess I have to. Hey, Hilda. I, well, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I heard you talking. Hmm? Oh, what's up, Zero? You're gonna fight the Almirans, yeah? Yes, but it's nothing you need to worry about, Zero. It's not that. I was just wondering if... if maybe I could maybe go along with you. But you'd be fighting people from your homeland. Do you really want to do that? Fuck them! <laughs> None of them would remember me anyway. It's just that I got captured in the battle at the Locket, and that's how I ended up here. So I'm kind of worried that other kids who lose their folks might not be so lucky. What do you mean? Before Lady Rhea took me in, I had a real hard time as a servant of House Goneril. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's not like I'll go around snapping up all Myron children. That's good, but I just... I want to see things for myself, so I know that everything's okay. Hmm. Well then, let's go together. Oh, would you want to join us, Professor? Watch as Hilda becomes even more OP afterwards. <laughs> yeah, remember, she's not very good at fighting. <laughs> sure! There, but I'm a little scared about fighting all those fierce Almirans. If you could 
come too, it'd be really great. We'd all feel way safer if you did. I'll come with you. Great. I know we'll be okay if you're there. Let's head out right away. I'll go and get ready too. You're a god dang tank, Hilda. A tank! That does control it. Woo! All right, let's take a look at the map. What do we got to work with? The Why is there just a gunner old soldier out here in the middle of nowhere all by himself? They have monsters too? Go oh, dang it, guys. What is your deal? I suppose I could probably just have them come down here and take this guy out. This guy seems like he'd be okay. He's an axe wielder with uh, two lance people here. So I could probably just go up this way, fight the board, and these guys here, and just kind of make my way up. That seems like a decent strategy for now. Now, as for units, who are we taking with us? When did Catherine get so high level? Plot is way too high level. I think I'll kick him out for right now. Probably get Lawrence in there too. <laughs> Cody Nelson. I'm a delicate flower. Proceeds to slaughter everything. <laughs> okay, I don't think we'll need Manuela here since we got Marianne and Flane. I think Flane should still be able to use healing magic, right? It doesn't show her with any magic, though. And why does she- why is she equipped with a training lance? Did I not give her something better? Whoops. Welcome. Hey, Anna. Get rid of that. Thanks a bunch. Get you a real Is weapon. Thanks a bunch. There. Come back soon. Okay, Anna. Love you. Well, let's see here. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't know if Flane can actually still heal well as a dancer. So, she doesn't seem to have fire either. Huh. Guess I'll keep Manuela in. I think Dorothea could also heal, so... Yeah, Dorothea will heal. 
can bring in Annette. She needs to level up. Okay, I think that's everything we can do for right now. Or you can even say Hilda will kill every last one of- That's true too! <laughs> she could also just do that! Route the enemy. Hilda still falls. Enemy units are defeated or defended. Location is captured. What? Most of our allies have fallen. My big brother and I can probably handle this, though. Hilda, glad you made it. Lord Holst has been afflicted with a sudden illness and couldn't come. He's not here? Oh, I'm sorry. You must have been absolutely terrified. It's okay, though. I brought along someone who can definitely help us. That's you, Professor. Please help us save our allies and protect Fodlin's locket. Oh. Well, that's gonna be hard to do. <laughs> okay, so. Good thing I knew about this back road, huh? We ought to be able to help our friends from here. All right, so since this seems out of the question, since we need to try to help the uh, our allies here, let's uh, go help this guy first, I guess. Let's get to it. Sup? We're here to moiti ya. That's not one of the capture locations, is it? I hope not. I have a feeling these things are gonna come this way. Oof. Who, me? I'm sending you up here. Yeah, Iron Axe. Pro tip, keep Cyril in the back, because insert shitting on Cyril joke here. He's not too bad of a unit, honestly, from what I've seen him do anyway. But yeah, Cyril is not, uh, not one of the best. Okay, so she can still use healing magic. Okay, good. Healing and... Okay, healing and magic. Alright. Okay, we're good. Dance, magic dance. <laughs> Is that her dance? I'm sorry, that is really funny to me. I like it. Okay, you... I'm gonna send you down there to help him out. We should be able to hold it otherwise. I think we're good to end.
Okay. <laughs> Successful, I guess. They're gonna do zero damage anyway. Nice. Come meet your end. You did three damage. And she levels up, because of course she does. Don't expect much more than that. I expect a lot more than that, because you are just gonna become too much, Hilda. B plus. Huh. I'm actually pretty good at yes! That. Yes you are! Exceedingly even! Get back here. Watch this play out. Tomahawk! It's actually a short axe, but it works like a tomahawk. Don't go out of the forest, are you nuts? Dude, you idiot. Oh. He did nine damage. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Leave it to me. Miasma. Now you're dead. I just worked harder. Took ah. down the horse. Sorry, did I hurt you? <laughs> oh, Hilda. Hey, buddy. Guess who can use bows? Thirty-six damage. Holy shit! I'm a green unit. <laughs> I get it. Hmm. Stay focused. No matter where I go, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Hey, buddy. Okay. I guess we'll just take it as it comes. They do no damage. Why am I helping these guys? They seem to be perfectly capable of handling, handling themselves. Other than when they miss. There we go. 
Take him out, Dorothea! Yay, good job! Go flying! Yay! <laughs> Yeah, sorry, there's not really much for me to say. I'm mostly focusing on uh, the strategy in the game right now. Why would you do a range attack against an archer? That is dumb. See? That's what you do against an archer. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Probably against my better judgment, but you know what? Whatever. She looks cute in black. Excuse me, sir, I have an iron sword with your name on it. No hesitation. I am... All I ever use is iron swords anymore, and I wreck everything. I love it. I'm not setting a very good example. Oh. Shamir has leveled up. See, that's how you level up. Strength is all for a mercenary. You never let me down. You're welcome. use this so let's check it out ooh boosting it doesn't do any more damage but apparently it's boosted by life consider yourself dismissed indeed that's my cue It's a late game where you meet enemies to actually use the sword creator on them. I kind of figured. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little better. But she's still going to receive quite a bit of damage. Hmm. He doesn't have a range attack. Dang it. Punch the horse. Yeah. I won't hold back. Uppercut that bitch. <laughs>
This is a difficult position to be in. Okay, you're aiming for her. And you... are gonna be aiming for Annette. You are gonna be aiming for Lysithia, so... Hmm. I think I'm just going to heal Dorothea. You break the shields on the monsters, you get materials. Yeah, I am aware. I feel my strength building. I just don't care. <laughs> well worth the effort. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, it got all three of us. Shit. Annette, no! Son of a... Wasn't I strong enough? Ah. I'm gonna have to do more grinding with you. I should have expected that. You're on my level 17 now, after all. Horses, you punch them, and oh, you got Catherine with gauntlets on. Never seen that before, but it seems to work. Really? You never seen that before? She kind of came with a punch ability. Rewind? I don't think rewind is really going to help. Unless I go back a long ways, and I really don't want to. Good thing you don't have permadeath on. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think Annette's being, uh... I don't think rewinding is going to help that situation much. I'm just going to go for it for now. Does this have no permadeath? That's a relief. Yep. I didn't want to torture myself, so I turned off permadeath. I have done that before. Where I've tortured myself. Didn't like it. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lawrence was just floating forward. It was so dumb looking, I love it. Oh my. That's good. I like that. Oh, that was a good one. It could get rough. Alright. And this burb. Do I want you to end it, or... You know what? I might have Dorothea end it. Yeah. I think that's what I'll do. Fry this chicken! All roses have thorns. Yeah, I played older Fire Emblems. The permadeath felt more annoying than anything else. Yeah. I got used to it after a while, but I really wish that that wasn't the case. So I'm glad that... Later games decide to take that away. I yeah, truly that. I'm not even sure if I would have gotten into Fire Emblem if not for them making permadeath optional, seeing as how I started on the 3DS. Oh, Awakening was a good game to start on. If you start on if that's what the game you're talking about. Other games are good to start on too. Oh, she can't move. Burn him to cinders. I am spent. 
quick, my cat is asleep. Talk about politics. Oh no. <laughs> oh jeez. These are three houses and guide in shadows of Valentine. You can rewind the time if you did put permadeath on. Yeah, three houses is pretty good. I like three houses. I think they did a lot of things. They fixed a lot of things and made things right in a lot of ways. All right, I can't move. I'm not using the sword of the creator on this guy, so I guess that's that then. You know, I might as well just send these guys down here to get rid of the, uh, the leaders. That's probably all I'll do since that's all they got left. Pretty much. I'll have you go back this way. Keep punching the horse! What punch? Yeah, awakening's where I started. Nice. Pull a bow out of your inventory. Oh, I can do that. I'm not sure I can... Can I use a bow? Yeah, I have an iron bow. I can put away the axe since I never used the damn thing. Oh my gosh. I do so much damage despite not being very good with a bow. This is stupid as shit. I love it. As expected. Yeah, I haven't actually finished, uh, I have not finished Awakening as much as I've wanted to. I just really wanted to play this game. And, the uh, oh no. Oh. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Cause they're going after Marianne. guys needed saving here, Hilda. They kind of seem to be tanks, like you. Bow him to death. Yeah. I'll celebrate later. Went around Jeddah and went and killed his god because somehow killing a god was easier. <laughs> nice. Game balancing. I'm just gonna have to just sit here and wait. Level up.
Oh shit, this guy might actually kill him. Okay, we found a guy that's actually a threat. Uh, no help came. What do you mean no? I mean, no help came. What do you think we've just been doing this whole time? Dip shit. No, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna kill this guy with one shot. Done. <laughs> I am comfortable. This is a decent chair. Poor Marianne, you haven't really been able to do anything. Assault! <laughs> I always love it when those miss. Because it's like, how did you miss? He stood there. Should have trained better. Oh, that's always funny. Okay. When do I get to meet this brother of yours? Ooh, a large bullion. Send it to the convoy. MVP! It's either gonna be her or Lysithia. trying to cross Fodlan's throat. I'm not saying they're not serious, but fights like this one aren't really invasions. What are they doing? They just start fights like this sometimes. It's so they can show off how strong they are. I think it's pretty dumb. I mean, people are getting killed. And why? So some guy can think he's tough? After every fight, they do a big feast, and everybody eats and dances, and there's music. It's supposed to honor the dead, but I figure they just like to make noise. I think they're all idiots, but if I'm real honest, it wasn't the worst way to live life. Feeling homesick? Nah, I'm where I belong now, and I don't really like Almira. They want to show how tough they are. Then they ought to look after kids who've lost their parents. That's not tough. Ooh, I'm tired. That's socialism. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. You get a chance to see your brother? I did. Though I think I'd be better off otherwise. He was horribly ill, for one thing. He looked so pale and haggard. Apparently, he'd eaten a bad mushroom before the battle, and it made him horribly sick. What an idiot. <laughs> anyway. When I told him we'd handled the Almiran situation, he was just gushing with praise. I tried telling him that it wasn't all me, but he didn't even listen. Well, to be fair, that's because you're a tank, Hilda. No one would believe you if you said it wasn't all you. Even if it wasn't. Aren't you glad to get praise from your brother? That did feel pretty good, I'll admit. But then things got awkward. He started trying to pawn off his whole inheritance. 
I told him I wanted none of it. Eventually, he settled for foisting this thing on me. Do you know what it is? One heck of an axe. He gave it to you? I'm pretty sure that's a relic. And that looks like a gold dang fin. Yes, it's a magic axe called Frykugel. It's the hero's relic of House Goneril. That is messed up looking, I'm not gonna lie. He said that I should have it, since the crest I bear will allow me to wield it. He was so insistent I eventually relented. But I don't think I can be responsible for something so precious. I've kind of just been putting the, what, the relics in storage. <laughs> hey, Professor, I haven't needed to use them as of yet. Instead? Why me? Hero's relics contain terrifying power. They're beyond the capabilities of a novice like me. Oh, bullshit, Hilda. You're the only person I trust to take care of it. Please, help me out here. If you're sure. Thank you so much. I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with this thing. A big scary axe is not my style. <laughs> bullshit! That is such bullshit! Look closely. Parts of the axe are pulsating like it's alive. How gross is that? It did look pretty gross. I will agree with you on that. But I'll use it if you tell me to, Professor. Or you could get somebody else to wield it if you like. It's all up to you now. Okay then. That Hilda, she really is something. Yeah, uh huh? Freikugel. Why does it sound German? Oh, I never get to meet her brother. Oh, that's sad. Well. I guess I'll practice battle maneuvers with the Adrestrian Empire's Imperial Guard. Cream of the crap. <sighs> Wasn't sick, he was high on as hell. <laughs> Is that why he tried to pawn off his entire inheritance? Alright. What item do you have? You have bullion. And that's it. Okay, we need a... Uh, we need a net actually out here, not just sitting in my pocket. Let's see here. You're at 23. We don't need you in here. I should probably use all of these at some point. <laughs> Is that the one? Thanks As you can see, I have one beginner seal, six intermediate, seven advanced, and two dark. It's too dark in here. Come back soon. Thanks, Anne. place that's getting the most enemies, but not the ones that can hit her, so maybe this would be a good idea. Have Raphael soak up the damage and then you can, yeah, you can come in and help out there. And I think that's good for everyone else. 
Let's begin. Annette in your pocket. She's not a Pokemon. She's Annette. Annette, you hear that? It's an Annette. I'm going to catch it. Uh, I get the reference. Obliterate! He's dead. Nosferatu! Confirmed. Marianne is a vampire. <laughs> Cyril out here. I stand ready. That's how it, that's what happens when I don't pay enough attention. Burn him. Set him aflame. He is aflamed. Naturally. Let us away. And guess what? He can move again. That <laughs> dance. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to that dance. Ready when you are. Ragnarok? Huh. Well, anyway, this'll work. Me. I'm Lawrence. Stay focused. I just stay in the back. I don't need to grind. Annette does. <coughs> Fry him, Annette! Do it again! Yeah. Again, she looks good in black. It's very sleek. She's not gonna survive this attack, is she? Oh, no, she did. Boom! Love it. Oh, are you heading out to King Duty? Well, you have a... You have a good evening. Glad you could uh, stay for a while. Or no, wait, it's Cody Nelson. Well, thank you for all your help, Cody. Hope you, uh, hope I get to see you again next time I stream. Hopefully there won't be internet troubles again. So, have a good one. Make fun of Flynn's dancing all you want. It's still less goofy than girly hams. That's debatable. <laughs> You cannot even damage me! I thought I gave it my all. Eh, your magic went up. That's good. Oh. Ha! You missed. You suck! I just realized I don't have a healer. Feeling woozy. 
I can tell. That's why you got this. Heal yourself. Oh, I forgot she could heal too. Awesome. You're stuck with me for a while. <laughs> yeah, I guess. No, it's Gilbert. Dodge! Nosferatu! Ha! You suck! And now you're dead. I mean, technically we're supposed to be training these guys, but... Ah! Death is a form of training, I guess. I'll just have you poke him. Poke! The poke was too much. I might have poked him too hard. Eh, might as well. Dance, dance. Dance, dance. Dance, dance. All right. Enemy Faz. You suck. Diddly. You lost to me. Everyone does, Hilda. And he did. I have two tanks. One is named Hilda, the other is Raphael. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> this is how you do damage! Learn it. Indeed. Here goes. That helps. Healer all the way. You got Raphael doubling. That's good. Doubling? You mean with Iron Axe and Iron Gauntlets? Or what do you mean doubling? As you can see, I've barely put in any effort into this fight. <laughs> I love being overleveled. Two attacks? Oh, yeah. He's kind of done that all the time. What's done is done. Kind of what Annette's doing right now.
You missed. Now you're gonna die. Fire. Fool, fire does not harm me. It consumes you. I had no choice. I got really bad luck with him leveling up speed, so he rarely attacks enemies twice. Oh, that's too bad. So speed is what allows you to attack more than once. It's good to know. Oh, your charisma went up. Now you're prettier. No, you look beautiful. I'm really sorry. There we go. And that doesn't help a lot, but okay. I'll take what I can get. Stage complete. The cream of the crop is finished. Lawrence's MVP. I mean, he did. He did kind of take out a bunch of people, so that makes sense. All right, we're done with that weekend now. On to Moon Day. Running that way, running this way, run back over here and over there, and now stay. Disco dancing. Disco dancing and jump. There we go. Struck manually. Hey there, Safuno. Oh yeah, three houses. I wasn't sure how I felt about this. It doesn't feel like a Fire Emblem game, oddly enough. Not a bad game, just I don't know. Also, hi. It feels like a Fire Emblem game to me. And a lot more. <laughs> I love it. But, opinions will vary. <coughs> okay, so you guys wanted me to put f flying in, if I remember correctly. So you're using the pro tip I gave you about the reloading screen? Yep, makes it a lot funner. Funner is not a word. More fun. <laughs> Alright, increase flying. Fly better. There you go. Let's do this again sometime. Let's do this again sometime. Come on, use your last one to level up. Yeah! Let's do this again sometime. He got extra D! Yeah, I've got this down. Let's see here. The only... I really don't know what else to give you. Because what you've got already is pretty good. Like, I don't know what else to do for you. Ignatz, my boy. Learn some more uh, reason. I'll keep trying my best. You do that. Wasn't a fan of the well, plan your week out sort of thing. I like it. But that's just me, like I said. Guess Sacred Stones set the par for you? I mean, I played the Fire Emblem game before Sacred Stones, and I played Sacred Stones. I honestly thought Awakening was better than both of them. And this game is better than Awakening. <laughs> so. But that's my that's my opinion. I don't really have any specific thing for any of them, so just auto-instruct for now. Master 
Why would I be teaching him spear? All right, group tasks. had the goals that we wanted set, so begin lecture. Uh, no. We want you to focus a bit more on your axe there, my dear. But thank you for your suggestion. My passion has always been for sorcery. With that passion and some more time studying reason, I can be a powerful magic user. You will be more stronger, I guarantee you this. Just not for this. For now. Let's show them the power we've acquired. Dear Goddess, please protect us. Can't argue with results, can you? Perfect! Don't let the OG fans hear you say that. I mean, I enjoy the, the early Fire Emblem games. It's just... Awakening kind of made them obsolete, and I feel this one kind of makes Awakening obsolete, in my opinion. I just love everything about this. Getting support up is a lot easier. A lot more fun. You can fish. <laughs> like, I just... I just like this. I love everything about it. Nice. Smite! Uh -huh. I'm getting he learned some smite! It's starting to make sense. I grasped it. How lovely. Am I making progress? Yes. Here we go. No, I'm sad again. You've done me a great service. You're welcome. My renown has increased. Now I can either just grind a bunch or I can increase my uh can I I don't think I can grind and then just go to explore because it doesn't use up uh, the battlefield points uh, if I just grind but at the same time it's like I'm not sure if I'll be able to explore after do after starting that so I don't know Ah, there's the bullion. So much money. Let's see, I, I'm a little behind here in the chat. Let me ch catch up here. Did I get that? Or the you need to play the original game on the original system and their hatred for remakes. Yeah, I never understand OG fan people like that. It's like, let people enjoy what they like. I mean, I don't get on people's case for liking uh, games that... I don't care for it's like like what you want I mean I'll make a joke about it or something but like for example Skyward Sword I hate that game but other people like it and that's perfectly fine had her become my god mage she was nuts 
talking about Annette, she's pretty good. Lysithia is, like, from what I've been told, better, but I don't know. It's both seem pretty good, in my opinion. Agree with you, this is my favorite Fire Emblem, but some OGs, Gildang, they are fun. I also gotta say, they really did NG plus right in this. Gotta give, gotta give them heavy props there. I don't know what uh, New Game Plus is like, but uh, I'll take your word for it. Love using the New Game Plus perks. OG fans are terrible gatekeepers. The exact opposite of the of the best boy in this game. <laughs> I recommend explore and do grinding on the last month so you can get everyone's happiness up. You mean the support levels? So remakes, I don't mind them, per se, provided they, they're done right. A good example of a bad remake would be the first Dark Souls remaster. Uh, the one that just came out? Or... What? I've heard a lot of people are pretty miffed about the dark about the Dark Souls game that recently released because they changed a lot of the character designs and they don't look near as good or as creative. OG fan of Zant? You can't change my mind. Zant was not in Skyward, Skyward Sword. <laughs> Zant was in Twilight Princess. There's a high point in a few areas. I mean, there were some good parts about it. I like the story, but... At least until the end. Like, I thought the ending was crap, but... <laughs> well, not crap, exactly. I just... I didn't like how you went back in time and defeated Demise in the past. Essentially making everything you did in the future pointless. I don't like time travel in stories. They kind of just fuck things up. But, uh, I didn't care for the dungeon layouts and a lot of the enemy designs and stuff like that. But again, that's just me. That's my opinion. And other people, if they like the game, that's good. That means the game wasn't a waste. Basically, a new game plus, everything resets, but you earn points and can buy stats, levels, and such back in NG+. Plus. Basically, you can get... Back to where you were much faster. Ah. They do that in, um... Oh, what game was it? I think it was, uh... You can do something like that in Tales of Symphonia. And there was some other New Game Pluses that did something similar to that. I don't remember what they were, though. Yeah, same. I love Skyward Sword, but if you have issues with it, I don't care. Yeah. Some people like and some people don't. That's perfectly fine. Me? I love this Fire Emblem game, but I know that there's some people out there who don't care too much for it. Yeah, I know he was in which series. I'm just a fan. <laughs> yeah. Not Demon Souls. Dark Souls 1 remaster. Basically, they added one bonfire... Changed how multiplayer connected, but left all the bugs and tried to sell it as a $40. That does sound stupid. That sounds really bad. When mods left the. Mods fixed the original game for free, left a real bitter taste in a lot of people's mouths with that one. Yeah. Or how about the, uh, the remaster or re. I think it's remaster version of Warcraft 3. I hate that because now I can't play Warcraft 3 because of all the shit that they did with that. It's like, that was one of, one of my favorite uh, RTS games back in the day and now I can't even play the damn thing on your official game app because you fucked it up. Thankfully I have the physical disc. Fuck you, Blizzard. 
You fucked it up! Time travel is a pain in the stories, I'll give you that. But I honestly like the dungeons, the music. I do think the music is pretty good. I didn't care for the dungeons because the whole map uh, felt like one long dungeon. Like, I didn't feel like I was exploring a world. It felt like I was crawling through a dungeon the whole game. If you like that kind of thing, I know a lot of people like the dungeon crawler games. Uh, there's a lot of those, especially in recent uh, indie games. But me, I prefer exploring a world and interacting with characters and stuff like that. And I did not feel like I was exploring a world in Sky Zor uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, that was one of my biggest peeves about the game. It's like, the, the reason I fell in love with the Legend of Zelda series is because I felt like I was a character exploring a world. And S Skyward Sword, it felt like I was put into a constant dungeon with constant puzzles for progression. It felt like a very linear hallway path for me. And that's why I didn't like it. But hey, I know other people like different styles of gameplay. Like, there's... Like, I'm not a big fan of sports games, but there's people who love sports games. Like, the reason there's so many different kind of games is because there's so many people who like playing different kind of things. And that's fine. I love it. Farming titles. Ugh, no. No. <laughs> Fuck titles. Never again. Yeah, the Warcraft 3 remaster was so disappointing. I was looking forward to custom maps, but fuck. Yeah. The overworld in Skyward Sword was definitely one of its low points. Which overworld? The... The one beneath the clouds or the one above it? Because either or. Because the one below the clouds just felt like a constant dungeon. The one above the clouds was empty! <laughs> Either overworld was, uh, pretty buh. Can't agree with you more there. I love overworld exploration stuff. I wanted to hate Breath of the Wild so much, but that fucking overworld was so good. I love Breath of the Wild. Other than, like, the only Zelda game I love more than Breath of the Wild, and Breath of the Wild has some issues for me, don't get me wrong, especially the story, but... I love Breath of the Wild, and it is my second favorite Zelda game now. Wind Waker is still my first, but Breath of the Wild definitely moved it up itself up to second place just with its, uh, uh, just with its uh, gameplay. But anyway, but yeah, in Skyward Sword, the things I did love about that game were the characters, uh. Like, Girahim was great. Uh, I honestly kind of like Groos. I thought he was a pretty decent character. I love his, like... He's got the biggest douchebag face. I love that. Like, the second you see him, you're like, Oh, this, this guy looks like the douchiest piece of shit ever. I love him. <laughs> Zelda's really cute in that game. I love her personality. Um... Legend of Groose Skyward Hair. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Like, Impa was kind of okay. I take that back. I hated Impa. <laughs> like, the first time you meet her, she just tells you off for like, You didn't get here fast enough. And it's like, The game doesn't let me get here any faster, you dumb bitch! Fuck you! Like, I was already having issue with the gameplay as it was, and now it's like, you weren't getting here fast enough. Fuck. You. Like, being able to tell her off when you save her from Girahim was the happiest moment of that game. And I'm so glad I put that into my Abridged series. That was the one moment I was looking forward to putting in my Abridged series so much. It's just like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> uh, but I do, I do like parts of that game. Like, don't get me wrong, the story and characters I do like in that game. I just didn't really care for the gameplay. Which is kind of the opposite effect that I have with Breath of the Wild. Though I do like the characters in Breath of the Wild. I just thought the story could have used a little... more. But the gameplay was wonderful. Wonderful. 
Oh gee, if only I wasn't such a pathetic hero and could get over a simple one inch or one inch length to It was actually a two inch high barrier. Now if it was one inch high <laughs> Yeah, Impa is a bitch in that game. I said fuck you to her the first time I played. Yeah. Link telling Impa off was so good. <laughs> Love Breath of the Wild, but the lack of traditional dungeons made me sad. I actually like that they shortened the dungeons a lot. Like, I guess I just got kind of sick of going through big dungeons. I like the, I like the shorter ones a little more. I mean, the, the long dungeons have their appeal, but... I don't know. Like I said, I liked the, the shorter dungeons. They could have been maybe a little longer, a little different, but I liked them for what they were. Dungeon, dungeon items were almost my favorite part of Zelda. I do kind of miss the dungeon items. I will agree with you there. They needed more variety in bosses. I will tell you that right now. Like, it looked like the same damn boss with, like, slightly different setups. And it's like, could you have, have maybe been a little more creative with the boss? I mean, I get you were going for a theme, but you could have done a little bit more with that, I feel. Like, that was, that was a little, that was one of, that's one of my disappointments with the game, was that the bosses were just kind of meh. Kind of really meh. Oh. Uh, well, thanks for joining us, uh, Seferno. It was great to, great to see you uh, here for a while. Glad uh, glad you could uh, come in and say hi. <laughs> Love what you did with Zelda. Her personality was so great. Thank you. I didn't tell Impa off, but that's my personality. Plus, when you don't tell people off, that kind of feels like a bigger F you. I guess, but it was really satisfying to me. A lot of bosses in older Zelda games are kind of meh. Yeah, I will agree with that, but at least they were creative and looked different. Yeah, but at least they looked mostly different. I guess I should have finished reading your <laughs> your comment there. Glad I caught you not at the end of the stream for a change. Yeah, that happens when I'm playing a long game that uh, keep holds my interest for a long time. Anyways, let's explore. Oh, wait, no. Let's check out my garden. I had to do. Harvest. What do I plan to get the, uh, I guess I don't really need it anymore, the, uh, what was it, the potted flowers or something, whatever it was, the gift item that Bernadetta, li Bern Bernadetta likes. Waiting for Skyrim to finish downloading. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, Sephirno, don't throw your life away! <laughs> I love the bells when you go to explore how it how it's the fire emblem theme. Yeah, I really like that too. White flower seeds.
Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot to give people lost items. Damn it. I am the stupid. Good thing I came back. Oh, what month are we on again? It is Guardian Moon. Supports are up for Raphael and Shamir. Okay, Let's see what's going on. Uh, the fuck? What's wrong with you? What the? No. The fuck is happening here? Okay, something's going on here. With my phone. One sec, guys. I need to check something here. That was weird. Anyway. Uh, uh, Shamir? <laughs> How long have you been there? Too long. You're blocking my way. Wait! There's something I wanted to ask you. Ask? I... Just make it quick. Well, you see, whenever I go into battle, the enemy seems to find me right away. I'm an easy target. But I want to be able to move around the battlefield without being noticed, like you do. So what do you think? Would it be possible? Do you think you're being noticed because of your size? Of course. I'm pretty hard to miss, you know. I thought that was obvious. Wrong. It's not your size, it's your presence. It's strong, almost unbearably so. <laughs> My presence? Is that something I can change? With practice, maybe. Let me ask you, have you ever felt my presence? Now that I think about it, I haven't. That must be why I didn't notice you earlier. But how can I do that? Will you teach me? Please? Please? <sighs> Fine. There's a breathing technique that masks your presence. When you breathe, are you continuously inhaling and exhaling? Well, of course. That's the best way I know how. I'd explode if I only breathed in. Right. To minimize your presence, breathe in, then out, then out again. In through the nose, then gently out through the mouth, twice. In, out, out. That's it? I could definitely do that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hear that again. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> the way he says that line. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious.
Oh, Raphael, you are just a precious teddy bear. Breathe less. Keep it to the absolute minimum. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take some practice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Sure, sure. I'll keep trying. In out out is trigger than it sounds. Oh my gosh. That's great. That was worth it. Worth it so much. You could try being a bit warmer. Like when I first met you. I took the time to introduce myself and make friendly conversation, and you just said, Hi, I'm Shamir. <laughs> I remember thinking that you wouldn't be easy to get along with. Now that's funny. <laughs> I remember thinking you were just another knight who loved the sound of her own voice. You know, the type who's all talk but useless in battle. Well, that's a bit harsh. Did you really think that? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But you changed your mind when you saw me in action. I did. You're surprisingly strong. Well, even though you had zero charm, you did a nice job of supporting me. Now I know that you'll always have my back. In fact, maybe I should take it easy and let you handle all the fighting. It sounds like I'm going to be doing a lot more work around here. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. At any rate, we're bound together, so we better try to get along. Don't you think, partner? That's how you see it. I can't disagree. Hmm. Alright, that's all the supports we got for now. So direction to magic to Alois? By the fishing pond, of course. What the fuck is happening to the fishing pond? Where's Eloise? Oh no, the item was by the fishing pond. Eloise, somewhere else. Where is he? I guess he's not here right now. All right. Whatever. Moving on to the next one. Manuela. You are where? Oh, wait. You're in the... Yeah, you're up here. I just go down the list. Actually, before I give this to Manuela, Takashi is here. Ah, she could use a boost. I wonder who that. Okay, she has the light purple veil. Where is that? There we go. Light purple veil. Wherever did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. You're welcome. Next is Dorothea. She's in here. Hello. I've some weird ones, but surgeon. So you had the lovely comb. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. So who all do I need to, or who all? I guess who all don't I need to raise? Nobody. 
Everyone needs to be to be raised. All right, let's do this. Ingrid. I don't really use. I don't really plan to get Ingrid into my party. Suppose I can hold on to that, but I don't want to hold on to a bunch of items that I might not use. Noseless puppet to Gilbert. Is Gilbert even here? I don't think he's here this month. He is not. Dudu, Dimitri. I guess I can just give Dudu and Dimitri's theirs. Let's see, I think Dudu was. Yeah, he was in the garden. It is a I am need some fun. Oh, I can't give him a lot. Okay, never mind then. Fuck you then. Uh, Ignatz. Ah, there you are. Running. I should probably eat something. It's 8.30. <laughs> Well, dump it. Letter to the goddess. Probably belongs to someone who daydreams about the goddess. Oh, that's mine. Goddess? Thank you so much. I've been looking everywhere. Okay, for a second there, I thought he said, "Bro, that's mine." It's like, what? That's <laughs> no, it's O. Oh, but I could have swear he said, "Bro." I will be your bro, Ignatz. Is Hilda. She should be in the class area. There she is. Wonder if Vilad is still making mead with juniper berries mixed in. Oh. Professor, there's leave it okay, Hilda has the handmade hair clip. Oh, I passed it. You found it! Thank you so, so much. You're a sweetheart. Never seen that ah! before. No. Let's see. Oh, there's one for me Marianne, so I might as well just give it to her while I'm here. Bag of seeds, right? Yeah. Marianne, bag of seeds. Yes, this is mine. Thank you for returning. I'm giving you the seed! Anyway. <laughs> I'll go be creepy somewhere else for now. Let's see. I guess Annette is an a next. Oh, there she is. I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, we were thinking. Unfinished score. I don't have that. Why don't I have that? Blue Lion's classroom. All right, one sec. I might have missed that. So, it says it should be in the Blue Lines classroom, but I don't see it anywhere. Huh. Well, I guess we'll get Felix his, the Tooth Dagger. This month will be most of, isn't that a big... That's mine. Thank you for finding You're welcome. Let's see, we 
Let's hit the ground with bone dice. That's Shamir. Sedif has the snapped writing quill. Uh, says Lindhart has animated bait, but I don't see that anywhere here. And Flane, Dusty Book Fable. There we go. Leone is first scarf. And Claude is board game piece. Okay. Who should be here? Claude should be here. He's over here. Oh, hi, T. I've been. I can't understand about, but Gerald. Here you go. You found it, Teach. I've been looking everywhere. <sighs> Thanks a million. The guy who does Warhammer 40k parodies, the Emperor, had text-to-speech. Actually referenced Skyrim saying they just re-released it recently, so the finally awake meme is kind of relevant. Yep, I just I just got into watching the Emperor had text-to-speech. Uh, so, I, I recently finished it not too long ago. I found it so fucking funny. It's great. Anyone else here that I can give stuff to? No. So where do I go next? Oh, Leonie's down this way. There she is. I'm sorry. Oh, that's mine. You're welcome. Let's see. Then we got Shamir Sedith Flame. I guess Shamir's not around. Instead of playing are here, so let's go give our last two items here. Then we'll figure out what we're doing with our day here today. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both okay, I've already listened to this before. How they Sorry for those of you who. Wanted to hear more about that, but if you want to, Thank you for play the game. <laughs> Alright, where would she be? Oh, she's way back there. Alright. Let's begin running. Wow. Running, 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 running. I run around, you run around, we all go to a run, run, run around. I plan. You have lost no more professor. If there is any. Oh, that is mine. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. And now, I decide what I'm going to do. Oh, support's up. Felix! Okay, before I... Actually, no, I can go see Felix now. There's so many cats in this school. Yeah, let's talk to Felix. I thought I heard someone. Are you here to train? I am the train. Yes. Get a train with me. Waving the sword around alone is boring. And I'm tired of crossing swords with worthless opponents. I'm <laughs> 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 sorry. That's my impression of Felix. But you seem like a worthy adversary. Sure, why not? I've always been interested in your technique. You learned from the former captain of the Knights of Ceres, and traveled Fodland fighting as a mercenary. On top of that, you wield a hero's relic, the legendary Sword of the Creator. Would I have not been able to...
get a support with him until I got the sword of the creator? Huh. Good sparring partners like you don't grow on trees. <laughs> Saferno. Calm down there, Sasuke. <laughs> I am an Avenger! Shut up. <laughs> no, Felix is a Sundere in thigh high stockings. What? What? You can't hit him, Paul. He is voiced by Lucian Dodge. <laughs> nice. I'm so used to there being cats everywhere, I didn't even notice. I live on a street with so many strays and cat ladies. Wow. That sounds like hell for me. I'm allergic to cats. But know that I will beat you, and I will surpass your strength. You will try, little man. Why are you so focused on becoming stronger? Why? Hmm. I never really thought about that. I just do it because whatever. I learned to thrust a sword before I learned to write. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I I have been doing comedy too long. <laughs> uh, pretty definitely feels like some. So I mean, I know some are. I just don't. I just didn't know that the first one for this guy is locked behind a plot. So yeah. One of his class costumes, really? Of course, my upbringing wasn't unique. That's how it is for all children in my country. You're no use if you can't swing a sword, however mighty your crest may be. It was the perfect environment for me. I could live free of stodgy values and virtues. Thrust without mercy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Grow strong so you may live, and live to grow stronger. That's what I was taught. It's a pretty uh, circular life cycle there. Do you have any other ambitions? Why should I? Nothing's as important as the pursuit of strength. I can think of a lot of things. But that's enough, idle chat. Take out your sword. My mind is emptied of all but the thrill of the challenge. I'm gonna paddle your ass, boy. Or not. Whatever. Let's go see if we can recruit Felix now that I've... Oh, wait. He's in here. Felix! This month will be a... Most of the night. Isn't that a bit... People say you're quite skilled. Perhaps if I joined your class, I could watch your sword technique up close. I like that I'm stealing all the students from the other classes. <laughs> I think that's best. I'll transfer to your class then. Don't make me regret it. Oh, I will. Alrighty. Now that we got that done. What was it people told me? That I need to increase my reason stat? Yeah, I think it was my reason stat that I need to increase, so... That means... I have to go to Hanuman and Rhea. Saferno. <laughs> Nothing's as important as pursuit of strength. I don't know, man. Food's pretty important. So is napping. I agree. You, Manuela, we can't do. I've always seen you're a vet. Give me reason. Sup, Raph? I know. I forgive. Just know. I need some reason. I need reason to go on. What 
can you teach me, Sedith? I keep forgetting. As if thinking how they masked. Okay, so flying, authority, axe, spear, sword. Nothing I'm interested in, interested in at the moment. Tell Impa Hardy fuck you from ya. Thank you. Let's see here. I'm an only child because of this. I'm worried that my parents will have to adopt a child or do their best to have another of their own. I don't. If I don't carry on the family title. They should adopt Caspar. He has no title to inherit. What you seek is more important than a title? Nope. I should have gone with take your time. I'm trying to settle on a gift for a certain young lady who has experienced tough times of late. Any suggestions? Uh, who are you? Cookbook, a nice warm blanket, an academy textbook. A cookbook? Fuck! Damn it. As soon as I saw his face, I'm like, ah, shit, I should have picked textbook. Need something. Let's see, I couldn't get more in faith increase. Another divine pulse. Sword in skill increase. Bow skill increase. Hmm. I mean, if I get this, the next increase will be reason, which is what I need, so... This one? I guess! You're all set. Okay, I found the comic that makes the Sundare joke. It's Literature Fire Emblem Comic Dub. Dub by Books Club Dubs. Dubby Dubby Dubs. Okay. I'll take a look at that a little later. See you again soon. Probably will. Let's get Annette and Lawrence up. Sing for me! should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. <coughs> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. All right, let's see here. Let's go fishing a little bit, shall we? Seems like it's important right now or something. Boat fly. Damn it. Full head. A 
look, you're getting person, the person who sung Life Light to sing? What? Yeah, I did it. Another bullhead. There we go. Ah. So used to clicking it right away when it starts doing that. Herring bait. Let's try it. Yeah! And then she had her sing another voice actor sung the main theme of Smash Ultimate, which is called The Life Light. Ah! I see. I'm impressed. Personally, I suck at timing many games like that. Thank you. I'm usually pretty good at it. Yes, golden. Glimmering fish! Damn it! Damn it! I just said I was good at this, damn it! <laughs> My hubris! Fuck! Damn it. I reeled in early. <laughs> I just go about just singing I can show you the world. Have a snail. It's a large shadow. I'm taking it. Fuck! Fuck! I think I'll do two more of these. Ooh, glimmering. Yeah! Choke on that! I got the golden fish. One more time. It's another big one. Caledonian Gar. Edelgard. Suppose we can try getting Ash again? I probably will never use him, though. I do One thing that I... I like about this game that I... didn't care so much about in the old Fire Emblem games is that... in the Fire Emblem games, there's such a huge cast of characters, but in this one... 
you like there's still a huge cast but they're separated like they're in different different classes so you don't have to be quite as overwhelmed by all of them as you are in uh, other Fire Emblem games and I don't want to be overwhelmed in this so I really don't know if I should even want to get Ash and I already have so many fucking archers as it is I already have so many Day special. I feel well, I don't know if I need you to do much of anything else. Petra, though. Try to get Petra in. We'll get Claude up since we need him to, uh, to learn more flying. I still have Xana's joke referring, referencing to that show from his Ocarina of Time Abridged. I loved it when he made that. I can... It's shining and shimmering. Splendid. <laughs> Beast meat, huh? Be liking that greatly. That smell, mm, it's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? Hilda, Leone, Zardetta. Dorothea. Phoenix. And that we need to bring up and flame. So Whatever one includes a net and flame. There we go. Huzzah! Those are buns. <laughs> them girls feasting on them buns! <laughs> Probably be beneficial to get Lysithia.
Ah oui. Hmm. You know what? I completely messed that up. Now let's see here. Jeez, I've got three girls at A. Shit. <laughs> it's not what I intended. Professor. We're not not at A, they're at No, they're at A. Never mind. What am I talking about? Yes, it's stuck with the net. I'm so sorry, Professor. I somehow overslept and missed our training session. I didn't mean to cause you and the others so much trouble. Thirty lashings! <laughs> Imagine if that had happened during one of our missions. It really is inexcusable. You need to rest more. It's just, when I'm studying tactics, I lose track of time and... Oh, who am I kidding? I've always been like this. Before I came to the Officers' Academy, I was a student at the School of Sorcery in Ferdia. Even back then, I was pulling all-nighters well before the exams. And I never even noticed I was harming myself. I'm just too focused on my goal. I know I've already told you this, but I really love to learn new things. It's a passion of sorts. I first realized I had the learning bug when I was about four or five years old. My father was so happy to see me using magic. Seeing him happy made me happy too. And that made me want to work even harder. If only things could have stayed like that. What do you mean? When I was about 13, my father left home. He was a devout man, so I figured he'd gone to the monastery. That's why I went to the School of Sorcery. So that I could eventually get accepted at the Officer's Academy. Don't worry if you're thinking of the S support the game lets you pick. Well, that's good. Cause I'm going for that Marianne. <laughs> I studied harder than ever, and sure enough, I finally earned a referral. Unfortunately, my passion for learning became more of an obsession. I got so focused, I kind of forgot how to relax. Feels like I've been running in circles ever since. Rest is just as important as work. That's true. Just look at today. If my hard work stops me from working hard, what good is it? Exactly. Okay, it's decided. From now on, I'll try my best not to try my best. <laughs> what the fuck? You have my support. Yay! With you on my side, I'm sure I'll succeed. You're adorable. From now on, if you see me going overboard, just let me know. I'm a new woman after all. All right. Where is Petra? See what I need for to recruit her with. Professor, please lend a I do not see what it all lies. You are someone I am No, look. Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting, but you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. Alright, let's see. Dexterity and right. I am not good at either of those things. <laughs> well, dexterity maybe. 
writing, not so much. Yeah, my dexterity is 21. My writing is E. And I don't really plan on increasing it much. Anyways, I gotta stop having meals just with the girls. I need to get the guys in here, too. Here we go. Get my boys here. Dining together is a fine way to socialize. This is a good opportunity to get to know the professor. You're right. Maybe you could ask about their favorite meat. <laughs> Let me see here. Alright. Now we got one more thing we can use, and I know exactly who to use it for. One thing I don't like is how hard it is to actually select things on the map. Kinda wish you could change that. Marianne? Professor, there's tea. Would you like some tea? Thank you very much. Yes! Tea with the gorl. My gorl. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Type of tea. What do I have? Lavender blend. That's a good one. That's the only one that I can choose that is of the tea she likes. So, lavender blend it is. Um, did you need something from me? my absolute favorite eating lunch with Patrick and Squidward <laughs> oh that's kind of accurate Thank you very much. <clears throat> all right for the conversation topics so nice say here a dinner invitation books you've read recently close calls forest birds I heard some gossip our first meeting relaxing at the sauna Sana's not open yet. Uh, tell me about yourself. The ideal professor. The view from the bridge. A new gambit. Cats. Exploring the monastery. Gardening mishaps. Likeable allies. Overcoming weakness. School days. Thanks for everything. The last battle. You seem different. A word of advice. Children at the market. Fodlund's future. Hopes for the future. Monastery mysteries. Plans for the future. It's a lot of future. Strange fish in the pond. The existence of Cress. The library's collection. Alright. Let's talk. Plans for the future, I guess. It is correct. Plans for the future is correct. You heard it yourself, guys. Classes you might enjoy? Fuck! I fucked it up. Uh, you seem different. No, evaluating allies? Fuck! Well, this went poorly. Damn it. Thank you very much for the tea. I look forward to doing this again. Ow! Oh. Damn it! Hello. I failed! I failed! Lawrence, just fucking kill me. Take out that sword and stab me. Why are you wearing a sword anyways? You're not good with them. Shit! Ah! And on that note, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you all had a, had a good experience with the stream. Sorry that I uh, 
have pretty much, uh, how long was this stream anyways? Let me check here. It was four hours, holy shit! So, a long time. The stream was a long time. <laughs> Rewind, so this, that's not how this works. Rewind! <laughs> You mean an ass out of yourself in front of your future wife. Isn't that how it always goes? <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful time at the stream. I know I did. It was great being able to stream again. Hopefully my internet stays consistently good this time, and I'll be able to do this more often. Uh, we'll be able to get to Skies of Arcadia Legends again sometime, and the script should hopefully be done soon so I can start working more more so on the ep next episode unless this game and Hyrule Warriors take up too much of my time but anyways until then thank you everyone good night love you all see you later